Okay, so the next step is let's install the Beaver. Uh, let's go here. Let's hit enter. Uh, to to I'll click here on download. And of course, I went the Windows version. I'll grab here the installer. And again, remember this required us installing the JDK 13. Of course, we need a database to play around with, so please install the database first. Okay, let's go show in folder here. Let's install this. I want it in English. Thank you. Click on next. I'll just say for me, just this user. Uh, I'll associate SQL files. If you didn't do this previously, don't worry about it. It's installing. Okay, let's create a shortcut. I like shortcuts. There goes my shortcut there. I'll double click on it just to see what happens. Let me close all these windows. I'll save this. Minimize here. Allow access. It's a little slow. Allow access. Okay, there it goes. Okay, this is going to ask you for the database. Um, make sure right now, if you notice on my machine, uh, the database is down right now. So let's just bring up the database just to make sure it's up. I'm going to type in here, uh, cd into derby home, bin directory, Start, tab it, tab it one more time. I want the BAT. If you're on Linux, you're going to run the other file without the BAT. Okay, so this is running now on port 1527, which is good. Let's now go to, I'm going to type in here all, and I'm going to search for Derby. I'm looking for the Derby server. Let's click on next. Localhost seems good. Um, I don't have a database yet. I think the database that we're using in class, this is the ones who are installing Derby, is CarDB. Um, I forgot the password that we use. I think we use app. And, and I'm going to say here password1234. Let's click on, let me see here. Notice here it says create false. Because I am creating this for the first time, I'm going to say here edit driver and I'll change this to true so I can create the database. Hit OK. I think if you leave this create the true, the second time around it won't create it because it knows it's been created already, but you're telling it, hey, if it doesn't exist, please create it. Let's click on test connection. Um, if you get this option, just say download. You might not. Okay, I don't know, did we get, okay, it's still going. It's saying that the connection test, it looks like everything was successful. I'll hit OK. Let's click on Finish. Click on OK again. Um, I'm going to say Close for now. I'm not asking for tips right now. I'll say Download, whatever it's asking me for. I'm just going to say Download. And right now I have an empty, ooh, I didn't want the sample database, but it gave it to me anyway. Um, here's our database, CarDB. I'm not sure if I named it CarsDB or CarDB, but again, I, I'm just trying to install this again for my class because they said they wanted another video on how to install Apache Derby. Okay. Let's click here. I'm gonna, so I'm going to stop it here. In the next video, I'll just show you how to load a couple of the tables so you have access to it, and that's really it.